Hey everybody, how's it going? Can you believe that you can actually log into a 40 manager and from that one 40 manager, you can pull down the config of any 40 gate device, even if it's not something that you own or have in your network. Yes, I said that correct. You can get the configuration of any 40 gate device that's in the 40 manager. And I'm gonna show you how to extract that information today. Before I go any further though, let me remind you, I make these videos, I put them on YouTube because I love helping people. I love helping you. So if you find value, if you feel benefited from these videos that I'm making, go ahead and subscribe and let me know in the comments below what topics you would like to see. All right, so here I have my, my 40 manager. It's already set up and registered and licensed and the whole nine yards. So I'm, I'm not gonna go through that. That's something that I can go through in another video. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you wanna see more 40 manager uh, 40 manager based videos. So here I am logged in and we need to go to the device manager and in device manager, upper left hand corner, add device. And then we're going to select this radio button, add model device. And the most important step here is we're going to select this pre-shared key. We're going to give it a name, any pre-shared key, any password you want to put in there, it should work. And here's the magic. You click this drop down here. And as you can see, we're presented with all the available options in this drop down list. And from here, we can then go and grab the configuration for any of these FortiGates, which is really useful if you have a, let's say you're on 300 Ds right now and you need to migrate to 600 Ds in an upcoming project, but you don't have the hardware in your possession yet. And you want to take a peek and see, hey, what are these interfaces named? What are, you know, uh, the available options? What What's the config look like and how hard is this going to be to convert? You could go in here, if you have a 40 manager, you could go in here, select whatever it is that you need to select, click next. It's going to go ahead and build it. It's going to add it to your, your root ADOM if you don't have another ADOM selected. I'm going to click finish. And then here's the trick. Here's the, the, the tough part. So once you get this, you may be saying, okay, cool, but how do I get the config out of this? So you need to go in here, click down here in this part, uh, go to this config and installation status. And then right here, total revisions. You see this row? We're going to select this button right here. And once you get here, you may be saying, I don't see anything. You have to go to more. And then you have the option to download the factory default config. There you go. Got it blown up. You should be able to see it now. So um, that is the config that I downloaded. And you can go through here and you can take a look. There's probably four or 5,000 lines of configuration here. And you can go in here and take a peek and see how tricky is your conversion going to be. And that's just one use case for this. I can't even imagine all the different ways that you could use this or that it would be useful to you. There you have it, short and sweet today. Not a whole lot, I've uh, been very busy at work, but I wanted to make sure that I was able to put something out for you guys, because I, I know my subscribers are looking for Fortinet stuff. So here you go. Here's a little nugget to hold you over. And again, like I said, if the 40 manager stuff is some, something that you're interested in, let me know in the comments below and subscribe to my channel for more things like this. Again, my name is Chris Ray, and this is InfoSec for Humans. I will see you next time.